Oh, you're here. Give me a sec. Here we go. You ready? Duct tape. <laughs> First question. How many shrimps do you have to eat before you make your skin turn pink? I don't know if this was supposed to be a real question, but I will answer it anyway. The exoskeletons of shrimps contains pigments called carotenoids. And it's the same group of organic pigments that you can find in carrots, sweet potatoes, pumpkins, but also salmons and birds like flamingos. Flamingos are not born pinkish. They are naturally white and they get their iconic color from their own diet, which mainly consists of shrimps and algae. When flamingos are kept in captivity and their natural food is not available, people used to give them carrots as a substitute and a source of carotenoids. If I personally had to choose between eating carrots and eating shrimp shells, I would go with carrots. They have a higher concentration in carotenoids and they're also kind of easier to eat. I really don't recommend this, but if you eat 10 carrots a day for a few weeks, you will probably develop an orangey skin color. And if you really want to stick with shrimps, ah, uh, well, I guess it's possible. You would probably have to eat a lot of them, way beyond what would be considered healthy. So you know what? Just focus on a well-balanced diet. You don't need to change anything. You are already beautiful. Why is blood red? In your blood, you will find red cells, and they are red because they contain a protein called hemoglobin, which is a protein that carries oxygen. This protein contains molecules called heme. This molecule has an iron atom in it, and this is the part that binds to oxygen. When the iron is oxygenated, the molecule absorbs all the colors of the visible spectrum, except for red, giving the blood its characteristic color. Contrary to common belief, deoxygenated blood is not blue, it's actually darker red. When you look at your veins, it looks like your blood is blue, and this is because of an optical illusion due to the scattering and absorption characteristics of your skin. Fun fact! In the 19th century, having blue blood meant being part of a noble family. And this is probably because nobles didn't have to do manual labor, so their skin was untanned and their veins appeared more blue. Oh no! The giant frog is going to eat you! Why is bird poop white? Most birds have a cloaca, which is an opening where genital urinary and anal tracts converge. Birds pee and poop at the same time. When you look at a bird poop, you are actually looking at a cocktail of bird pee and bird poop. The white part being pee. If birds had urinary bladders and pee like us, that would mean extra weight that would interfere with flight. This is why they excrete nitrogenous waste as uric acid, birds concentrated and pasty version of pee. If you see a little dark piece in the middle of this white paste, that is probably bird poop. You know what? I think we should take a picture together. I really hope the picture is gonna be good because this stuff is expensive. These. Why does the color red makes bulls so angry? This one is also a myth. Bulls are partially colorblind. Their eyes lack the red photoreceptor. So they probably see red as a shade of gray. It's not the color of the cape that makes the bulls angry. It is rather the movement of the cape. Bulls used in bulls fight are a very aggressive breed. They have been selected over generations to become angry at any sudden movement. The matador can use a cape of any color, the bulls will still charge at it. So why is the cape red? Well, traditions and maybe also to mask the blood of the bull during the final stage of the bullfight. Okay, the picture should be ready now. Oh, look how cute this is! That's it for this quick episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any scientific question, please 
leave a comment below. I'll see you very soon.